All right, y'all. All my followers, y'all keep following. We're down here at Bunks, the Muzz Creek Bunker. We're going into the home of the beast. Um, y'all follow the Blunts Creek Bunker channel. We're going to have some good stuff coming up soon. This is the workshop. It's a little dark. Get some lights in apologize. Here. We're about to change out the lighting right now, but we got a 6 Chevrolet motor here. It's going to go in a Mustang. So y'all check out his channel and there might be a little while, but we're going to get some stuff going. Talk to y'all soon. Bye now. Alright, that was better than expected. That actually didn't take very long to hang that. So, here's the beast, y'all. Like I said, it's stay covered. tuned. We got it covered up now to, to keep, keep the, the dust off of it. Yeah, the sand. Yeah, we're down here in eastern North Carolina. Y'all know there ain't nothing but sand down here. Yeah, it, it gets pretty sandy. I'm kind of worried that there's some sand in places that it shouldn't be. But, uh, and damp. It's always humid down here. But we're going to unveil here what's been going on so far. He's going to have more detailed videos on his channel as far as the rebuild. Woohoo! And there she is. So essentially it's just got uh, bearings and put in a stock motor. Um, you know, nothing high performance. Just jags. Uh, bearings. And... What we're going to do tonight is torque the bearings. Um, I've torqued the main bearings, but I have not torqued the rod bearings. It's got assembly lube in there. Uh, all the side clearances feels tight, but assembly lube is hard to move. I've tested them before. They're about 12 to 13 thousandths with a filler gauge, which is within spec. All right. 